My name is Vernon Costello and this is my resurrection story. I was born in Nashville in 1970 and uh, I was the youngest of, uh, well, I had two sisters. Uh, one of them was born in 61 and one of them born in 67. And then there was me and then mom and daddy. We moved everywhere. New kid, always new kid. Uh, that's never pretty in school. That didn't live at the uh, best of places. Go to the best of schools. Um, so I got pushed around quite a bit. Uh, ever so often, we me and Daddy go to church. If he was with us, he would leave. Um, come back, Mom would take him back. Growing up, I didn't have a stable family. Um, my dad was in and out. Uh, we moved everywhere. Uh, I felt like the kid that was just being drug along. Uh, I was the tag along of the family. But as I got older, uh, of course my daddy was gone. My mom was, I was with mama. And my sister moved out and all that stuff. Uh, graduated high school. I was the only one out of the kids who graduated high school. And I got into drugs and, and drinking and, and just did things my way. Although I was thought I was a Christian, always from when I was 20 years old. Um, I remember, you know, trying to follow my, my grandmother's footsteps and reading the Bible and everything. I never understood that. And honestly, I probably didn't know who Jesus was until I was 30 years old. I've been, I'd always trying to grasp a family and make a life and always been this much close to the keeping your head up out of the water. So I was drowning pretty bad. And that, I guess the right way I was raised, or it was always in me, it was that wasn't good enough. And so I always had to do it on my own. I didn't, I didn't have any guidance. But in 2000, um, 99, 2000, I was, it was just me and the children and uh, lost my job, union worker, so out of work. I didn't know where, where I was getting my next meal at. We, uh, we actually went to church uh, for Sunday dinner because the Mariah Church did Sunday dinners. So that was a free meal. Um, and that's one of the first places that I kind of felt like people wanted to do something with us, had something to do with us. I was laid off and sitting, sitting around my apartment up Whispering Oaks over here. And I basically shut myself off from everybody because I figured I didn't need to. I was trying to find somebody. I was trying to just jump back into marriage. Uh, somebody to, to make me feel like a person. Um, to make me feel like I was in a family. I had two children, no mom, you know. Um, and that's the first time and I read uh, Matthew 6, I think it's 25 through 31, where he says, consider the lilies. And he said, quit worrying. And it was like everything went Phew. And I'm like, I have, I didn't have two nickels to rub money. And it was just, everything was gone. And uh, I felt so good. I really did. And it was like, my world changed. That was the moment my world changed. Being human, I've, I've let him down, I'm sure, but he's always been there by grace. I'm just now learning about grace, so, you know, it's an awesome thing. The more I learn to incorporate Jesus Christ, God, uh, the Holy Spirit, um, and get myself out of what I'm doing, take my own agendas out of it, and my own thoughts out of it, and let Him do whatever He wants to do, um, it, then it works. It really does. I've come to learn that I can't make life for myself, but He makes my life for me, or He makes everybody's life. The Lord put uh, my wife Donna in my life for stability, for my sanity, um, just to, to ground me. He uh, he put my children in my life. I used to swear like a sailor, I'd probably make them blush. But when the Lord put Matthew six and He opened my eyes, that ended. All that ended. I was 
I knew my life had changed. A few years ago, uh, I knew I needed to be closer to the Lord, and uh, I wasn't moving as I should be. Personally, I should be. I knew I was. I knew I had a relationship with Jesus, but it had become stagnant. I had become stagnant. I had to do something. I I was being called, and I didn't know what to do to help people. I didn't know what to do for God, and uh, so I decided to start doing these uh, mission trips and involving myself in the church. Uh, through the church, it has helped me ex not express myself, but express Jesus' love to where it's not even just the church now, it's, it's, it's other people, other things I do outside the church. And uh, still not where I want to be or where I need to be, but I'm slowly making progress. Just make sure everybody tell everybody hello when they come in. You know, when they come in church, I don't care who it is. You know, make sure everybody feels welcome. You don't know what person is coming through that's never felt welcome before in their life, even at 46, you know. So I'm burning, and I've been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives within me.